Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna look at AdventureWorks example two. We're gonna dive a little deeper and add one additional table that makes it a little bit more complex. Hang in there and we'll get through this together. As you can see, this JSON code has just one extra element now. We are now looking at employee. Employee is a list of employees under each department. Here are the C Sharp class objects. It all starts off at Adventure Works list. It has a version and then a list of department. Department has four simple variables and then a list of type employee. And that's how we will deserialize this JSON object. If you were wondering how I made this file, let me show you how I did it. So my goal was I created an object called create department list. I then serialized that list and then wrote it out to disk. Notice I'm using adventure works list and then departments. Departments then contain employee and I added the two new entries, Dylan and Diane. I then added a second department, department three, and added two employees, Brian and Stephen, and then that completed my object. I then returned that object to that caller. As you can see on line 50, I created department list, and then on line 51, I serialized that object. That created me the JSON, the JSON that you're seeing in this project. Let us dive in and deserialize this JSON object. I'll meet you on line 30. I set the path to the JSON file. I read that file in completely and I put it into a variable called JSON text. And then I used Newtonsoft deserialize object. I passed in my base class. Let's look at that. This is class right here and that calls this and this one calls that. And then it ran through the deserialize object and it gave me departments. Let's take a look at departments in the watch. It's easy to see that we have a list count equal to. We have department. Department has employee. There are two employees. And that's the way it's done. 